Good morning. Today is Friday, March 15th, 2024. This Shabbos, in the synagogue, we read the Parsha Pekude, with which we conclude Sefer Shemos, the book of Exodus, the second of the five books of the Torah. And as we do that, we will all stand, and as we conclude the final verse, we will all exclaim aloud together, Chazak, Chazak, the Nishazek. Be strong, be strong, and be strengthened from each other. And we do this at the end of each of the five books of the Torah. We bless ourselves with strength, spiritual strength, physical strength, emotional strength, and we recognize that each of us receives strength from each other. I strengthen you, and you strengthen me. And we say these words as a kind of celebration, a celebration of accomplishment. We've just finished learning together again, Sefer Shemos, the book of Exodus. And we recognize that studying Torah strengthens us, nourishes us, prepares us for the challenges and vicissitudes of life and gives our life more meaning. And that happens for each of us. We are each stronger now having completed again the study of Sefer Shmos, the book of Exodus. And each of us strengthens the other. The Torah you learn makes me stronger. I benefit from being in your orbit, which is now higher than it was before because of the Torah that you studied. And hopefully, I do the same for you. So we say, Chazak, Chazak, Venis Chazek. But allow me to add a deeper layer that speaks directly to this moment for us. We began the book of Shemos, even the book of Beratius, of Genesis, in war. And, tragically, we are still in war. War like any tragedy, but more so, distracts us from mundane life. Tasks we need to accomplish, projects we started, are pushed aside and often left unfinished. And that is natural. It's normal. It's understandable. And in the short term, it is necessary. But we also have to live. We have to be responsible. We have to be responsible to fulfill our daily duties, no matter how mundane they are. And we have to keep our word as much as possible and do what we say we're going to do. So listen, please, to this insight from a remarkable woman in Israel, Reut Zuckerman. She writes, This is an era in which we began to do things with great enthusiasm, but we do not always finish what we started. But, she writes, there is value in completing a mission, in reaching a goal. Because this builds our character, especially at a time of endless distractions. It gives us a feeling of success, 
that we have the capacity to fulfill these goals, even amidst the challenge, even amidst war. So this Shabbos we celebrate. We began this study in war, and we end it still in war, anguished, grieving, worried. And we were and we still are distracted, necessarily. But we also recognize, just as we cannot survive without an exemplary army, which, thank God, we have in the IDF, the Israel Defense Force, we, each of us individually, and all of us collectively, cannot survive as Jews without the study of Torah. So what we will accomplish this Shabbos with the completion of the book of Exodus of Sefer Shemos is a very specific strength, a strength of character, of finishing what we started, a strength of spirit to continue studying Torah amidst the endless distractions. Each of us will have succeeded in our capacity to reach this goal. Each of us is strengthened by this success. And each of us inspires and strengthens and encourages each other to be strong, to stay strong, and to continue studying Torah together. Chazak, chazak. Venis Chazek. My friends, I wish you a great Shabbos, a beautiful day, and I look forward to seeing you soon in person.